Ruby Frankie and her business partner, Jody Hildebrandt, were initially arrested on two counts of aggravated child abuse. The charges were later upgraded to six felony counts of aggravated child abuse. They were arrested on August 30th, 2023 at Jody Hildebrandt's home in Ivins, Utah. Guys, look at that spread. Which is about 300 miles south of Salt Lake City. Ruby Frankie's husband, Kevin, has retained an attorney and his attorney is speaking out publicly. Now, Ruby Frankie and her husband, Kevin, had been separated for about 13 months at the time of her arrest. And Kevin's attorney, Randy Kester, talked to Law & Crime this week and said that the former couple had a split over a difference of opinion about their family parenting. Kester also claimed that Kevin was unable to see his children during that time and wasn't even aware that Ruby had moved their children to Ivins, Utah, which is about four hours away from Salt Lake City. The attorney also claimed that Ruby, 41, had been controlling Kevin, 44, emotionally. We're going to dive into some clips of the interview with the lawyer and kind of talk about Kevin and why he's being viewed as a victim at this point, because they started their YouTube channel in 2015. He was still in the house and he remained in that house until a year ago. I just don't know how this guy can claim he didn't know what was going on. If you were in contact with your children, that's called a father. This is an absent father who's trying to play victim now because he didn't have any communication with his kids. But what infuriates me the most is that he blames it her control. What is going on in these marriages where everything else is traditional, especially in the Mormon religion, very traditional. Why are the men losing control? Yeah. He's, he's uh, busy. He's struggling, uh, trying to make sense out of what's happened to him in the last 13 months and uh, kind of coming out of a fog. So, in other words, he was completely taken off guard by these allegations, completely shocked? Absolutely shocked. So, there you go. I mean, how can you claim to be an involved father? And, on the other hand, claim to be shocked by these allegations. Where was he, he when he, he found was, out about this? He, he was at work. And how did he find out? He found out on the news? Did someone call him? He got a call from Ruby. He got a call from Ruby Frankie. Correct. So he this was- wench, in her moment of desperation of being, she knew she was going to be arrested. She knew the police were on their way. So she called up the old ex-husband who hasn't seen the children in a year for help. Yeah, you heard right. Sure. Uh, She had heard uh, uh, what was going on and uh, knew they were coming for her and uh, called him and said, this is an emergency. Even though she hadn't hadn't reached out to him for months and months and months before that, uh, she reached out to him when it was an emergency, knowing she could rely on him to help his kids. He got a text from her that said, emergency, I need to speak with you. He was at work and uh, text back and said, I'm at work. Uh, what's up? And she said, I need to speak to you immediately. And he, then they spoke on the phone. Correct. That, she just said, you need to get down here. You need to get down here. And mm-hmm. what did he say about that? He, he said, down where? And when she told him that she was in Ivan's, he responded and said, what are you doing in Ivan's? And was told, she then told him that the kids were down there, some of the kids were down there, and he needed to come down. And uh, he, he said, well, how long have you been in Ivan's? He didn't, he didn't, he wasn't even told that she had taken the kids to Ivan's. Again, really involved father, had no idea where his children are. He has six of them. Six. Now he's going to be asked how often he was seeing the kids. Uh, almost not at all. Actually, not at all. What, why, is told, it, him, why is that? Why is that? Because she told him it was better uh, that they needed to work on their marriage and needed to keep their family together, but that everything was better off with him not in the home and not communicating with the children. All right, this is where it loses me. Where is this guy's balls? You have six children. If you say Ferris Bueller, you lose. And she head. told you it's just better off if you just go away. Why am I not buying all of this? Why do I think he belongs behind bars with her? If you can. Why were they separated? What was the catalyst? 
Oh, I probably shouldn't go into that. That's that's pretty private. Who here thinks that Ruby and Jody were having a love affair? That's what made them leave. Mm-hmm. But let's just say they were. Uh, they had a difference of opinion about their family. So let me and, again. And their own and their own personal dynamic. Okay. Um. So he was living separate from her. He wasn't calling the kids, checking in on the kids, seeing how they're doing. He's the father. I totally understand that. That was the big question on my mind and the big question I, on a lot of people. If you read everything that's in the media, he's getting raked over the coals for that. But what people don't understand is that he was trying to preserve his marriage. He was taking direction from her. She's the one who asked him to leave the house and indicating that in order for him to be able to get back together with her and be a family, that uh, she was requesting that he leave the home and that he not contact them or the children. La, 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 la. Later told him that everything was blissful at home. It was so much better without him. Again, ever- Kevin, blame, 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 Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. What about Kevin's accountability? A year went by. You think a year is going to preserve your marriage? You think a year is going to, you're going to miss a year of your kids' lives? This makes zero sense. Zero. She told him no. Emotionally, she was uh, controlling him. Because she knew how much he valued their marriage and valued their family, and it was his desire to be able to get back with the family and uh, preserve his marriage. So he was taking direction from her. Her direction was, it's so much better off, and I think we can salvage our marriage if you just, for now, don't have communication with the kids, and I will communicate with you. I'll reach out to you when we need to have communication. Do they he just currently had no idea. He had no idea. He had no idea that this was going on. No, physical abuse had never been a part of their family. But a lot they, of the dynamics between he and his wife changed after uh, Jody Hildebrand uh, partnered up with Ruby. Let's. Ah, uh, I knew it. That's his nice way of saying that they had a little something, something going on. I was right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner on that one. You don't sit back for a year when you have differences in dynamics and think it's going to get better by staying away. Okay, I'm a huge fan of this next clip. So this part's great. So he's, the lawyer, watch his face even change. He's caught off guard by this next question. Oh, certainly. He's interviewed with them. And they see him as a potential witness? They haven't said that. He, he's, uh, he was interviewed with them uh, the day this all occurred. He, and he, he drove to St. George to get his children, and they met him and interviewed him. He has that look on his face like, hmm, I haven't thought of that. So they haven't called the husband a witness in the case. What does that tell you, son? They might just be investigating your client, sir. Kevin Frankie has never been accused of physically abusing anyone, including his children, nor have there ever been any allegations that he was doing that. He doesn't condone that kind of thing. He's a good dad. He just simply does not condone uh, physical violence or uh, that kind of treatment of children or anyone. And he's right now in touch with all of the kids? Uh, that's all being um, that's all being sort of uh, managed by the juvenile court. That would be no. Do they want to see him? I I can't tell you. I don't know. No, again. Mm-hmm. I know that he's had contact with his two older children, but as to the four younger ones, I I even if I knew, I I kind of made an agreement with the court that we wouldn't talk about the kids. What about? Well, they're they're kind of on their own, but they've had. Uh, uh, They've had contact, but I'm not at liberty to disclose those conversations. Um, last week, where Ruby Frankie, and I believe it was over Zoom, she made quite the allegations. She said that one of her children was abusing another one of the children, was abusing cousins and neighbors. That is quite the claim. What is your client's take on that? Well, because it occurred during juvenile court proceedings, uh, the reporter who snuck into the proceedings and reported that uh, damaged these children and this family even more. It was despicable what they did in reporting that. And, uh, but uh, because again, I have an agreement with the court that I'm not, I won't speak about the children. So his first comment is to blame someone else and he has nothing to say. He has absolutely nothing to say in defense of his children. I mean, a simple, that's not true, or I don't believe that, or those allegations are crazy. Nothing? Lock this dude up. And particularly won't speak about proceedings that occurred in the confines, uh, the sanctified confines of that juvenile court, I'm not going to comment on that. Okay. And you can go watch this entire interview on Law and Crime. I'll put the link will be in the video description. 
Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think this guy is completely culpable in the abuse of his own children. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Be sure to check out my other videos and playlists for more true crime content. And if that's not enough, you can join our Patreon. Don't have a tinfoil hat? It's okay. We'll make you one. It's that easy. See you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.